Oh. So multiplying polynomials, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, when multiplying polynomials, there's going to be two different types I'm going to talk about. The first one is going to be using the distributive property. So the distributive property states that when you have two terms inside of a parenthesis being multiplied by a term outside the parenthesis, that is going to equal the term outside the parenthesis multiplying by both of the terms inside of the parenthesis. All right? So let's go and take a look at one, Kevin, when I had, let's say, 3x squared times 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay? So by applying the distributive property, what this means is my term outside the parenthesis is going to multiply to every term inside the parenthesis. So I'm just going to kind of write out the long way. We usually don't do this. We kind of do it quicker. But what this means is you're going to have 3x squared times 4x squared plus 3x squared times negative 2x plus 3x squared times 1. So do you guys see how I'm multiplying my outside term times every single term inside? Now, like we practice when we are multiplying by using the properties of exponents, right? When we are practicing on those rules, when you multiply two terms with the same base, what do you do with your exponents? When you multiply, you add the exponents. Very good. And the numbers, you're just going to multiply them through, right? So 3 times 4 is 12. x squared times x squared is going to leave you with x to the fourth. 3 times negative 2 is going to now provide you with a negative 6. x squared times x, remember, when you just have an x, that's x to the first power. So that's going to provide you with x cubed plus 3x squared, which is just going to leave you with plus 3x. Because 3 x oh, 3 x squared it is. 3 x squared times 1 is just 3 x squared. OK?